This is the creation of the universe according to Greek mythology. The craftiest of the titans, Cronus, envied his father's power, and his mind began to scheme. He heard the weeping of his mother, Gaia, who mourned for her deformed first offspring, now locked beneath the earth. Using this to his advantage, Cronus convinced his mother that the only way to free her long-lost children was to murder Uranus. The grief-stricken Gaia agreed to Cronus's plan and gave him a scythe to help him accomplish his dirty deed. That night, when Uranus materialized from the heavens to meet with his wife, Cronus leapt from his hiding place and, slashing with his weapon, emasculated his father. Deeply wounded and his power gone, Uranus dissipated back into the sky, and there he lost substance. The blood of immortal beings had magical properties, and as the drops of Uranus's blood rained from the heavens, it gave birth to new creatures wherever it mingled with the dust of the earth. The three furies, demonic spirits that tortured criminals, arose with their eyes dripping blood. Also, giants were born from the fallen blood. Finally, a single drop of the magical blood landed on an ocean wave as it crested. Combining with the splendor of the sea foam, the blood produced Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. With his father displaced, Cronus set himself up as the new master of the universe, and, ignoring his promise to his mother, left his deformed brothers chained beneath the earth. As his new kingship began, Cronus decided to make sure his reign would last forever. Every king must have a consort, so Cronus took his sister, Rhea, to be his queen. When the union produced its first child, Cronus knew that there was a chance that this child might try to overthrow him, just as he had done to his father. It was not a risk he was willing to take. When the baby, the first of the gods, was at last delivered, Cronus swallowed it whole. Rhea was horrified at this, but it was just the first of many crimes. A grisly cycle of birthing and devouring began. Time and time again, Rhea delivered a perfectly formed infant god only to have it gobbled up by Cronus. The newborn Poseidon, Hera, Hades, Demeter, and Hestia were all devoured in this way. As Cronus's stomach swelled with the bodies of his own children, it seemed his appetite for power would never be satisfied. At last, Rhea reached her limit. In secret, she delivered her next child, a sturdy baby boy and sent him to be raised by the nymphs of Mount Ida on Crete. When Cronus demanded to see his latest son, crafty Rhea wrapped a stone in blankets and presented it to her husband. He greedily gobbled up the stone without a second thought, and Rhea smiled to herself. She knew her youngest son, Zeus, would grow to adulthood in exile and return to avenge his brothers and sisters.